As you all know, every month over on my Discord channel, I create a new challenge, an art challenge. Usually it's a redesign of some video game that the community's playing, has played. It's usually something that a lot of people love. Uh, and this is a lot of fun. And you know what another good thing about this is? It's exactly what you'd be doing if you were doing concept art for games. You'd be digging into the world of an existing universe and designing something that adds to that universe, something creative, bringing something fresh. Another nice thing about it is that you get some feedback on your art, which is really good. Another nice thing about it, you're not just sitting there drawing alone. You get some like challenges, people challenge each other. So what do you get if you participate? This is it, man. You, you, get, you get featured in a slideshow video here on my YouTube channel. I know that's like the golden prize right there. So if you wanna participate and you wanna be involved in my Discord community, follow the link below the video. This past month, I asked the community to design characters and environments for the video game Sea of Thieves. I love me some piratey stylized art, man. I just love this. It's really great stuff this month. The rendering quality has really definitely been stepping up. I'm super proud of the community that I have over there on Discord. All right, so let's dig into some Sea of Thieves character and environment designs.
I've said it before and I still believe it, there is a shortage of qualified concept artists to make all of these big AAA games that we play on current generation consoles. I know this because I've been a concept artist for over 20 years on some of the games that you played. I know it, I know you've played, if you haven't played them, you've seen them. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm retiring from AAA game development to make indie games, but not before I pass on all of my knowledge and experience in workshops, that's right. Being a concept artist isn't just about making pretty paintings. No, that stuff has gotta be functional. And how do you learn how to make functional concept art that will get you the job? How will you improve your portfolio? Well, you could go to some art school that doesn't really teach you about game development, or you could take a mentorship with somebody that you're gonna pay thousands of dollars for, and maybe even then they didn't actually work in the industry that you wanna work in. They never actually shipped games before. Well, I have. I've shipped a lot of video games at very prominent companies, and I will help you to get a portfolio that will get you hired. I mean, you're gonna have to do the heavy lifting, but at least I'll let you know what you gotta do, okay? And check out my testimonials and reviews to see whether or not these are for you, and I'm pretty sure that they are if you wanna be a game developer.